A student produced this for UND's TV show, Studio One. Spring is a time of renewal. The grass turns green again and some animals migrate back for the summer. One man helps a particular bird feel at home. Like many others, wildlife biologist Ross Heyer spends some time behind a desk. But this time of year, his job revolves around chickens, and not the kind that likes to cock-a-doodle-do. To go out and park in the rural area and turn your vehicle off and step out and hear chickens going, it just, it just feels good because you know that there's still a connectivity to the old years. An hour and a half before sunup. Today, that's 5 a.m. Ross spends a large amount of time studying the mating practices of prairie chickens and the different grasslands where they reside. You, you visit sites where chickens occur or you sit in a blind, you know, it just fuels your passion for these birds. I mean, they're so remarkable in their courtships in the spring and, you know, their abilities to get up and fly long distances. Prairie chickens used to be a very abundant bird until their habitats were destroyed by incoming settlers. If you read the history in the 1800s, they basically fed many, many pioneer families. Ross says that he talks one-on-one -on -one with landowners, explaining to them the importance of conserving their natural grasslands. So we work pretty hard to keep what we have in good shape and try to secure the rest. Prairie chickens are lucky to have a caretaker like Ross around to make sure that their habitats stay intact. This is Jake Larson reporting for Studio One. Ross says that prairie chickens now have one-tenth of the grassland that they had before European settlement.